The crisis in Gaza is growing with famine gripping the territory and Israeli forces locked in new battles with Hamas fighters. Israel is planning a ground assault on the southern Gaza city of Rafah, which could come at any moment. Tina Kraus reports. As Israeli troops keep up the hunt for Hamas militants in Gaza, Palestinian civilians are in a desperate daily search for food. People are hungry, this woman shouts. People will die. The World Food Program says famine is imminent in northern Gaza, where 70 percent of the remaining population is suffering catastrophic hunger. Time is of the essence. These people are starving. Children are dying. Israeli forces launched a new raid on the Gaza Strip's largest hospital Monday, saying they captured more than 80 Hamas fighters who had regrouped there. We call upon all Hamas terrorists hiding in hospital. Surrender immediately. Tension is building between the U.S. and Israel over its handling of the war. Prime Minister Netanyahu has lost his way. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer stunned Israel last week, calling for new elections. Protests against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are growing, with thousands demanding a new leader. Whether it's the hostages or whether it's creating more tension between Arabs and Jewish people, we think it's actively harming us during the war and beyond it. Netanyahu is hitting back, saying the international community has quickly forgotten about October 7th and that an election now would force Israel to stop fighting a war that Hamas started. Tina Kraus, CBS News, London. An American ship is on its way to Gaza to set up a pier for distributing more aid to Palestinians. So far, deliveries by land and air have proved inadequate.